As I've stated many times, the division, the polarization, the tribalism that has come up since Trump was elected needs to stop. Okay. Um, we can argue till we're blue in the face as to what the cause of it is. You know, some people say it's the media. Some people blame it all on the left. Some people blame it all on the right. I'd say it's a combination of all those things. But Trump being elected certainly didn't help. I mean, Trump is like Biff Tannen, okay? He's, he, he's a bully. And anyone who doesn't praise him, he makes disparaging remarks towards. He tries to degrade and make people feel bad about themselves just because they don't support him, right? But, you know, I mean, a lot of this, we could say, started especially around, I don't know, 2014, maybe 2015, you know, and, and that element of this being mean and uh, uh, trying to destroy people's lives for having the wrong kind of viewpoint. Um, yeah, that probably kind of started around 2014, 2015. Now, some of the, the deep division, I would say, kind of started uh, during the Bush administration when he pushed the whole, you're either with us or you're against us. You know, support this unjust war or you're anti-American, right? That kind of shit. But uh, anyway, so as I've said, I'm hoping Joe Biden is able to achieve... Uh, I hope that his niceness is able to trickle down into society. Now... When I look around Facebook and some other places, there are people that are, and I don't know how well this reflects society in general, but I'm seeing people basically say that they will never forget and never forgive those who supported Trump in any way. And uh, that Trump supporters should continue to be shamed and I'm like, I don't agree with that. That's very divisive. That's very much like trying to get revenge on people. And, and, and just, no, that's not a good way to go about things. And I had read about AOC wanting to create a list of uh, Trump supporters to shame them and such. Name and shame. And, and I was really against that. But I didn't know there was an entire website already dedicated to it. It's the Trump Accountability Project. Remember what they did. Well, all right. So, here it is. Uh, we must never forget those who furthered the Trump agenda. We should welcome in our fellow Americans with whom we differ politically. Well, wouldn't it be nice if they actually believed in that? You know, because the rest of this is just all about revenge. You know, oh, but those who took a paycheck from the Trump administration should not profit from their efforts to tear our democracy apart. The world should never forget those who, when faced with a decision, chose to put their money, their time, and their reputations behind separating children from their families. It's just like, well, this part here, this, this didn't start with Trump. This started with Obama. Trump made it much worse. Yes, but it didn't start with Trump, but a lot of people like to push that it did. Let's see, encouraging racism, and I can understand why people would think he encourages racism. There's a lot of dog whistles that he seems to have done, whether intentionally or unintentionally. And they say, and anti-Semitism, and I'm confused at that one, because he always seems to support Israel, and he's never said anything negative about Jewish people. Maybe it's because he speaks negatively about Islam. I don't know. Of course, then he also, he wanted to block, you know, he campaigned on uh, blocking Muslims from coming into the country. So maybe that's where they get that from. Anyway, and negligently causing the unnecessary loss of life and economic devastation from our country's failed response to the COVID-19 pandemic. I highlighted economic devastation because, I mean, it's not, it's not Trump's fault what happened to the economy after COVID hit, but I, I see people 
criticizing Trump as if what happened to the economy after the, the pandemic hit is his fault. It's just like, well, if he would have done something to try to save just the economy, you would have really been complaining about his response. So, I mean, that's stupid. You know, I don't think he responded well, but but using the, blaming him for the, the bad economy on that is weird. Anyway, uh, we should not allow the following groups of people to profit from their experience. Those who elected him, individuals who worked for the Trump for President campaign, Republican National Committee, and affiliated PACs in 2006 or 2020. Wow. Those who staffed his government, individuals who worked in any role as a political appointee in the Trump administration. Those who funded him, individuals who used their massive personal wealth and influence to bundle money for Trump. Sign up for updates. And... It just seems like you're wanting revenge. Just like so many of the people I see on Facebook and other places. You you want revenge on Trump supporters. Just like, look, okay, let's go with Biden's message of, of treating people decently, of unity. Okay, let's go with Biden's message. Okay, division and revenge are not, do not make you look very good. Okay, you when when you're pushing for that, you lose the ability to complain about those who divide. You lose the ability to complain about that. I mean, you can, but you look ridiculous. You look like a bunch of hypocrites. So, I hope this sort of thing doesn't catch on. You know, that's all I got to say. I hope Biden's message spreads and not this shit. Anyway, <laughs> 